Great. Yeah, you go buy your gangster phones and uh, duct tape. Uh, the lady gives you a raised eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Two thug phones and the roll of duct tape. It's a gift. She looks at the Zulu mask you're carrying around. All right. She's... <laughs> you're thinking now if you had two of them, you could actually conceal your identities. <laughs> Who did this? Zulu wires broke it. <laughs> 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 oh man so yeah yeah uh, I, I personally would love to see uh, uh zulu warriors fighting a uh, chinese street gang <laughs> okay well we'll we'll, uh, we'll try and make that dream come true i think we're gonna have to work the zulu warriors into our uh, our name for this i think i'm gonna have to work that into an insanity somehow <laughs> Always good to plan ahead for your insanity. So if you ever, uh, how the insanities work, Jeremy, is you'll notice on your sanity, once mm -hmm. you get to, like, uh, what did your insanity, or what did your sanity score start at? Started at 60. Okay, and I believe the first bold face number is 50? Yeah. If your sanity ever drops to 50, each bold face number means you pick up one new insanity. It needs to be something detrimental and come up every game. So, for example, if The Rock started dressing as a Zulu warrior a minimum of one time per game and committing various crimes as the Zulu warrior or whatever his new fucking super <laughs> villain name is, this would be an acceptable insanity. Right. Uh, a lot of people pick up a lot of weird shit. Like uh, one guy has golfing as an insanity. He will fucking leave the case and go golfing for no reason just because he's stressed out or whatever. Yeah. And our lady is into skinning people. I mean, it just varies depending on what it is. Yeah, when I was going on about ghosts at the interview, that was insanity cultivation. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, it's good to good to you can you can have quirks and stuff and try out different quirks from time to time and whichever quirk seems to work for you, you can cultivate it into an insanity later because chances are good you'll need at least one in the wings ready to go. Yeah. Yep. And it's only the first time you pass that number. So if like your right. insanity goes up and you pass fifty like five times for some unlucky reason, you don't get five insanities for that. <laughs> Yeah. Just floating between 50 and 40, not 51 and 49. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, the, the, yeah, the, he brings up an excellent point. You have to go down to each bold face number. So you can pick up quite a few different insanities. You can tell just how crazy a PC is by how many fucking insanities that they're, they're sporting and stuff. Uh, when somebody's got over three, there's somebody to watch closely. If your character ever reaches zero sanity, you lose the ability to play that character, and that becomes an NPC, usually of doom. So <laughs> a lot of PCs will just, like, if, if they think that you're too close to permanently insane, they may do what they call ride to the swamp. Be careful of anybody who offers you a ride to the swamp. It's like being told that your dog has gone to a uh, farm out in the country that you can't okay. visit. Yep. We're going for a walk in the woods, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not a happy time for you. So, so do we want to do? Do we want to bank on them not recognizing two very white guys with a Zulu mask at the Chinese restaurant when we walk back <laughs> to give our burger? <laughs> um, I could put the Zulu mask on, go in, leave the note. <laughs> I love this idea. Just, at the light, he just turns in his seat and looks at you. <laughs> turns Is this back guy black, too? I, let me check real quick. I do it at random because, you know. Bing. Now, he is super white, probably with red hair and freckles and will burst into flame if he leaves the car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gingers. <laughs> yeah. There's a good sanity. <laughs> He, he, he just hopes that there's a good tip at the end of this little rainbow. Okay. <laughs> I have not specifically tipped any of our taxi guys. <laughs> nope. We haven't, we haven't been saying that. I don't, I have, we haven't even been paying for it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've just been going with credit cards because, you know, small charges work on the credit cards. 
Um, the only bad thing about the taxis is they're less good in car chase scenes. Right. But uh, give me spot hidden rolls when you pull up uh, back to the restaurant again. Uh, so, succeed. There, there is uh, like an alley next to the restaurant that you have not been down. Oh, that's that's good. All right. I'm going to peek down the alley. Do I see anything? Um, you see a uh, van that says Bamboo Dragon. Looks familiar. License plate seems very, very familiar. Uh, it's parked uh, in front of a loading dock down there, and you see a half dozen uh, uh, thuggish-type uh, uh, Chinese gangster-looking guys hanging out near it. Uh, one sharpening a knife. They don't seem to notice or care about you at this time. God, you wish you had swords, you think? Are those yeah. the same six guys from inside the restaurant? No. Yeah. So there's 12 guys then. At least. Y yes, they're, they're, this, is their, this is their hornet's nest. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to have found where where the uh, the the van ended up. Yep. Yep. You're not really hungry though. <laughs> You've already eaten, and you have a Zulu <laughs> mask with a Walmart tag through it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I removed that Walmart tag. <laughs> give me give give me just a, a general general uh, uh, roll. I just want to see if you roll ninety six or higher. Because then it'll pop right out. Oh, goddamn close. He, he's starting to just yank it off, and it kind of crunches the eye a little bit. He goes, God damn it, and he carefully removes it. <laughs> I was just curious if it would partially destroy your Zulu mask. You know? All right, great. All right. Um, so we don't have anything to uh, to help us here. We, uh, we may want to go back and... I, I'm just going to write my note on the piece of paper with my burner phone number, walk it in, place it on the desk... Wave at the waitress and walk out. Uh, you have the entire power of the Zulu nation literally at your fingertips right now, Rock. <laughs> it shows. It shows like in his mind. It shows him using the Zulu mask as some sort of frisbee that comes back after each hit. It shows him like <laughs> taking on the gang with it. I try uh, to yeah. mask on. You, you you put it on for a while. You're now getting a lot more looks on the sidewalk than you were. <laughs> Do I hear any drums or anything in the distance? Only in your mind. Oh, then I do. I start doing a little dance to the drums. <laughs> Give me a dance roll. Great. Fail. All right. Uh, the guys in the alley attempt their spot hidden on uh, some white guy. Yeah, they're all looking at you now. All <laughs> watching the alley. Are kind of doing this and looking at some weird white dude doing a really horrible dance with a Zulu mask on in front of the restaurant and pointing and laughing. Oh, mighty medicine gods. <laughs> at this point, I walk out, shake my head, and try and push, push him back into the taxi cab. <laughs> no problem. Give me a luck roll uh, there, uh, Phil. Mm, that is... Where is my luck? Where are you, luck? That is a fail. No problem. You, you, as you guys get in the cab and the cab is driving off, uh, where to, asked the cab driver? Uh, home. I pull my Zulu mask off. No problem. And tell him... Tell them our home address. No problem. As you're as you're pulling away, you see the annoyed looking waitress come over with and like trash the note and some uh, dirty dishes and stuff, and all that goes <laughs> to the box, and she just takes it in the back. <laughs> you're thinking you know, the power of the Zulu may have helped in this. Logan wants me to get a Zulu insanity. Not necessarily. <laughs> I, I support whatever crazy you guys are wanting to do. Uh, let me tell Jeremy a quick story about uh, a group insanity that happened. Now, Jeremy, imagine you're a brand new player. You go in, and it's an uh, in-person game, and there's like five other players. And as you're, as you're gaming with these guys, you begin to notice that they have Britney Spears stickers on their notebooks and stuff. And then at so at some point later, they're like, 
what could be the answer? And one goes, we must ponder. And he pulls out a Britney Spears poster and then rolls it and everybody goes, hmm, and stares at it for a while. And then later they were celebrating something. One pulled out Britney Spears doll and started having it dance around and everybody was banging the table and cheering. This guy obviously never showed up again, but he didn't realize <laughs> that they were basically all role playing their characters in Sandy because they'd all clumped together on the same insanity. <laughs> Britney Spears is their idol. Uh huh. <laughs> the mystery of than... Britney's breasts. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing better than watching a bunch of twenty-something-year-old men all, you know, uh, worshiping Britney Spears in every possible way. Not creepy or anything. This is back before she went crazy and stuff. Yeah, back when she was still a more. sex idol. All right. So you guys are back at your house. Uh, the butler uh, sighs when he sees the mask, but he doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. What time is it right now? Uh, it's probably early evening. Uh, you're going to guess that Patricia Davis, the lady you were supposed to be escorting and stuff, should be midway through her torture session, possibly a good waterboarding before dinner. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to try and sword trick because I should have done that this morning anyway. Same. No problem. You guys go out to a dojo. There's a lot of fucking swords out here. I think I actually see. Oh, I missed it by one. That's a fail. Yep. Hey, yep. And that's a fail. All right, no more sword tricks for today. Cool. And I failed. Ah, you guys are totally owning this thing. So, <laughs> so I guess I just hold on to a sword. We still have the two swords in the car, so I think we should actually bring the car. Yeah. We have swords this time. Leave the Zulu mask, I think. So uh, you want to rent a van or something? Renting a van isn't a bad idea. It's, yeah, I mean, it's one way to avoid the driveway of death. <laughs> we have two cars? Uh, have two yes, cars. They're, they're back, and one mobility scooter. <laughs> it looks pretty banged up, but it's been repaired. I'm going to attempt to... And, uh, you want me to try and back a car out? I'm going to attempt to drive one of the mobility scooters out first. Do I still need to pass a drive roll for that? Do you uh, have a mobility scooter? It's it's mobility scooter. You could use either motorcycle or mobility scooter skill. Your I'm going choice. to use motorcycle. That's oh, a fail. So close. <laughs> it just doesn't drive off the cliff. Give me a dodge roll as uh, somebody else is backing a car out, and you're like, ah, ah, running off. <laughs> He looks up as the car gets ready to fall off the cliff uh, onto him. Go ahead, Jeremy, uh, or sorry, uh, Russ, give me your drive auto to see if you can back it off the cliff onto Jeremy's head. Well, <laughs> no, I kind of get out of the car and have a look at Jeremy. Uh, it looks as though the mobility scooter is laying on its side at the bottom of the uh, tricky bit. Uh, right. The problem, the, the, the problem is that there's a couple of burned up husks of cars that have been added while you guys were not around uh, that the mobility scooter is stuck in. And so it's not just a nice flat thing of ground. It looks like it's kind of becoming like the elephant's graveyard of cars. Right, right. <laughs> All right, well, I, I try and help Phil out of that predicament before I uh, back a car out. Yeah, uh, gonna... No problem. Uh, uh, Phil, give me a contortions roll, and to defeat the contortions and just drag his ass out, uh, Rock, give me a strength roll. Let, let's see if he can smell what the Rock is cooking. Holy shit. Oh, I get more than learning contortions now. Well done. Nice job. I made my strength roll. You made it? Yep. No problem between his strength and your being like eel-like. Uh, you quickly and easily get slither your way out of there, and he hauls you to your feet and goes, hmm. You can tell he's still thinking about that goddamn Zulu mask, though. You can see it in his <laughs> fucking eyes. So I snap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you going to, uh, now that you're free to 
get clear of the elephant's graveyard of cars, would you like to see if you can place your car onto the top of the burned out husks? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it super slow at like two miles an hour and... Uh, they all go like that and then they just pitch off for no reason <laughs> you can figure out. All right, here comes my drive roll, you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> It just shows it's super slow, and as soon as he gets close to it, he just shows the tires spinning and he floors it off the side and crunches into the other ones. And he's sitting in the front seat giggling. God <laughs> damn really it. it. All right. a fucking Zulu mask. You're pretty sure that possessed him to just floor it. I get the stuff out of the car, put it in the other car, and try this again. All right. Oh, Crit. There you go. Yeah, like, it's going slow. <laughs> going fast is the way to avoid that little problem. Power slides his way out of the driveway. Yep. <laughs> you go join him in the car as the as Jim the butler comes out and looks over the edge at the one car and it shows it like there's metal bits sticking up and the car's kind of been impaled on some of them. He's like <sighs> We need to call like a fencing contractor or something and get him to put a big fence up there. <laughs> yes, sir. He says, well, perhaps when you become B list, we can get that done. Yep. <laughs> Until then, C listers rule. All right. He just sighs and goes back in the house to make some calls and maybe get a cloth. <laughs> okay, I do leave. I do leave the Zulu mask at the apartment. No problem. It took much willpower to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hey, I've seen I've seen people before a big cyberpunk heist decide to all dress up as Robin Hood characters. That wasn't the worst part. The worst part was they all decided to use in period weapons during the heist as well during cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, so I've seen plenty of fucking crazy. It's like I have a quarter staff and they have lasers. I'm fucked. So anyway, right? You guys get in the car. Where would you like to drive to? Are we going back to Bamboo Land, or do we want to hit some hotels? I thought we were gonna rent a truck or something. Oh yeah, we're gonna go rent a van. Why? Uh, because. Our car is going to be recognizable, and it's beat up. So we oh, get, yeah. we're, we're subject to random police stops and stuff. Since we're, Remember? We're, yeah. Yep. All right. Cut to the van rental place. You're giving them ID, different ID, blood, <laughs> DNA sample. It's a, they pretty much fucking know who you are, and they're happy to keep your car for you um, while you drive around in their van. Uh, they, you don't have to leave your car, but you know they. You can leave it in their parking lot as long as you need to, as I don't long think as you're right for it. We want. <laughs> it shows like uh, their internal security systems pretty much getting you guys on camera from the moment you walk in. You're like, at least it's anonymous, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yep. yeah. So, yeah, that's not going to work too well, but whatever. Once we're back in the car, I'm like, I think our best option is to go beat up some Chinese people and steal their van, and then we can use their van to do our funky business. Ah, okay. <laughs> Feeling heroic. Feeling heroic. It shows them getting beat up by a couple of fucking <laughs> pimps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's up to you. I, uh, you're, 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 you're your car isn't that horrible. I mean, they pounded the dents out. Russ hasn't crashed this one yet uh, since they, you know, and they, it, it's it's kept in repair. You're not sure if this would be less conspicuous than a newly stolen car with an APB out on it or not. <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, it, think about it in real life terms. Which is less conspicuous, a dented car or one that the police are actively seeking? Grand Theft Auto, yeah. <laughs> sure, you can do that if you want. Uh, quick AFK for me. I got to drop off and pick up. Be right back. All right. All right. So, Pow Wow, we're just going to take our own car then? Uh, 
what's are we doing the China thing first, or what are what was your intention here? Um, well, we could go find some of the, the bugs. Um, we could go back to the Chinese place. I, I don't feel great about fighting all those guys, but um, <clears throat> if they, you think you've are... got the, the weapon skills, it uh, might be a good idea to bring a pistol for you. Yeah, I don't hate the idea of getting a, of grabbing the pistol. We'll have to go back home for that. Yep. Um, it shouldn't be an issue. The, these guys are slightly more dangerous than a normal group because they do have swords, so they can actually kill us. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, and they're likely to be good with them. They each have their own uh, their own weapon that they're good with. Blunt weapons, I'm not too concerned about. Okay. <laughs> it's, well, it, it's less damage with the with the non swords, and they can't really cut our head off with a. Are you familiar with the martial arts system on this thing? No. Okay, so martial arts, you make a roll at your martial arts skill, and if you succeed at your roll, you do extra damage. Okay, yeah, I did see that. All right, yeah. Um, so these guys are all going to be martial artists, probably, in some, probably. In some effect. It's still a, an extra roll they have to succeed at. Yep. So you just want to storm in. That's my thought. Um, we have pistols. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, they got sleeping tranks, which are like kryptonite to us. Yep. Apparently. Um, well, yeah, yeah. They could track us, definitely. And um, they'd have to miss. We'd have to make sure they miss. I'm not real big on hero points right now. I. I don't like the idea of taking on 12 guys, but if, if that's what you want to do, uh, I, will, I will be with you there. <laughs> we mm. talked about this. I'm, I'm a lot more conservative than you are, so I'm just going to let you, uh, you call the shot on that one. Um, I think we should go back at some oddball time. And well, yeah, I was thinking in the middle of the night. See if the, yeah. yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Go back. Three in the morning. See, there's going to be less people, I would think, if anything else. No, there'll probably be more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll see at three in the morning. Um, yeah, let's go to some hotels in the meantime. Okay, let's let's hit some hotels. All right, so we're looking for uh, cheap ass, horrible hotels. There's one. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's it. Considering it's in the downtown area of the city, it's probably like $70 a night, but that's pretty cheap for this city, etc. All right. Walk in. And it's horrible, definitely. We'll take one night. We got something to keep them in? That's a good... Never mind, I'll take my money back. Well, we have a whole night. I'll just pay for the night. We have a whole night. All right, we might want to get a jar or something. Yeah. He looks totally baffled, and he goes, "I right. <laughs> Hands me a key, I hope. Uh, well, he, he needs to see ID and stuff like that, but yeah. Really? You need an ID here? Mm -hmm. I hand him an extra 20. Yeah, you're going to need to be like Ben Franklin or something like that for this. <laughs> Screw you. Take back my 20 hand him an ID. <laughs> puts, puts it down. Yeah, for enough money, you can be anonymous, but in the States, no. <laughs> I've tried that. So, All right, so we got a room? Got a room. All right, let's get a jar. Well, I think you can go get a jar by yourself. I'm going to see if I can actually find some bugs. All right, cool. I'm going to drive off and get a jar. Okay. Uh, right. You're trying to find like cockroaches or something in your room? Bed bugs. Bed bugs. Those are almost invisible. They're, they're visible. Tiny, tiny, tiny. They're, yeah, they're... I mean, if you're looking really super close, I've had to deal with bed bugs. I, I live in hostels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're looking exactly, that's exactly what we're looking for is bed bugs. I would think if I was looking for them, I'd be able to find them. Maybe. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. 
if they're there. Any that live here, uh, under thirty. Yeah. No, All right. You might find some cockroaches. All right. Let's see if we can find some cockroaches. See if there's any uh, still alive. Ah, uh, there's a dead one. That's no use. Let's see if there's something else I'm thinking of. There's a uh, uh, mouse that's looking like it's really sick. It's thrown up and is kind of still twitching, but... Not useful. A um, couple flies banging themselves against the window, still alive. Not useful. Um, I guess we'll have to go to the next seedy hotel. Yeah, wow, this is going to be a long night. Hotels. Right? So I'm now going to like uh, you know a Bed Bath and Beyond or something, and get a mason jar. All right, great. Yeah, you buy a mason jar for reasons. Um, yeah, it, it it's getting pretty late at night, um, like ten ish or so. Got nothing okay. better to do. Okay. Uh, right. Give me a luck roll for next CD hotel that you pay money for. You're, you're trying to you're basically. You're just trying to find bugs. Sixty by thirty. Okay, we're, uh, we're specifically trying to find bugs that you might need to fumigate an entire house for, like bed bugs, cockroaches, termites. Um, that somebody might need to tent a house and bug bomb. Um, yeah. Okay, you find a couple of samples of something eventually in one of the hotel rooms that you put down too much goddamn money for, and <laughs> put them into your mason jar. Well, what are these ones? These are we don't know. Or well, bed bugs you normally don't fumigate. You just treat the mat or throw out the mattress and shit. But um, or treat the mattress. I'd throw it out. But um, but they get everywhere. Well, they. Bed. Actually, they have a they have a special radius that's about two meters maximum travel. I don't know why they don't travel very far, but I got briefed on bed bugs by a guy who's a fucking expert on because he ran a hostel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cockroaches then. Those ones we fumigate for. Right. Um, yeah, you, you've you've got you've got cockroaches in a big mason jar. Cool. Cool. Those are going to be more difficult to plant. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, you're you're if they it's our master plan. <laughs> you're, 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 I'm glad if you guys are feeling confident. <laughs> oh man. Um, so uh, I poke some holes in the top of the jar that the roaches can't get out of, but you know right air. <laughs> Great. Great. I, I, I'm wondering about that. It would have been funnier, though, if they end up being dead. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, you, you've got some stuff, and you're hoping it all works out. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You guys definitely need a planner in your group. See, it's up to you guys to fucking recruit more people into your group. Yep. Yep. Not clever like this. <laughs> gonna gonna try shit. It's uh, it's gonna be nuts. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. So, so you can enjoy you can enjoy some random, really, really, uh, really crazy plants. Uh huh. Yeah. Big yeah. mason jar. Two cockroaches looking at you like. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Touching them. Not fun. Fucking they're, actors. They're little little fucking fast bitches. So anyway, um, I'm sure you probably trashed at least one of the rooms chasing these little fuckers around. But yep. you got them eventually. <laughs> All right, now it's probably a inconvenient time of the night. Like one in the morning or something. You yeah. guys wait till one in the morning. It is definitely an inconvenient time of the night. <laughs> All right, so swords and pistols? Swords and pistols. You guys own pistols? Yeah. Yes, we do. Cool. Um, I forgot. With, Good. With fancy holsters and uh, 45 rounds each. They, yeah, we haven't used these at all yet. They will help. <laughs> if yeah, only we it wasn't so uh, noisy. Uh, what is it? A gun show? Yeah, a gun show. Yeah. If only it wasn't so noisy. Yep. Yep. Um... 
Those are last resort, but uh, swords and pistols. Oh, firing a pistol anywhere in Chinatown is a good way to alert local law authorities that you would like assistance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure to come out and help. <laughs> so, anyway, right. You guys cruise to where in your taxi cab with your big jar? No, no, no taxi cab. We're going to take your, oh, your, take your, car. your car. Sorry, I forgot you survived. Uh, <coughs> survived great yeah. you feel very proud about that <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh take your car uh where to um bamboo dragon not right in front of the bamboo dragon but yeah okay you are one on block, block away from the bamboo dragon um you eventually find parking somewhere you're paying like ten dollars a fucking hour some outrageous amount it's pretty horrible, but you know, your credit Not cards can suck it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, you, you've gotten it parked. It's not convenient. Right. All right. Um, let's, on over. let's set a meetup point somewhere uh, a couple blocks away from the car in case things go squirrely. Okay, yeah. you guys wander around and go, oh, did you bring your big jar of cockroaches with you or no? No. Sitting in the car. Okay, great. I'm thinking that between the jar of cockroaches and the repaired dents on the car, it's probably safe from theft. <laughs> yep. I mean, would you want to steal a car with a big jar of cockroaches inexplicably sitting in the back seat, <laughs> belted in? I'd be like, mm, I'm not sure what this guy's into. Let's let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we didn't have the Zulu mask sitting right next to that. That would be a great picture. That would that would even be weirder. You, <laughs> thieves don't like a lot of weird crazy. Uh, if the car had like fake blood here and there on it, even even more unlikely to get robbed. But did we have um did we have balaclavas or something? That we yeah. Faces? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hell are balaclavas? Right. See. Um, this this is a key that you don't have them if one of the party oh. does not know what they They're are. They're ski masks. Right. We, we yeah. had ski masks from our... Uh, oh, sorry. Do you carry stuff. around ski masks and such? I, I don't car? think we would actually have them on us right now. <laughs> well, then we're going to need to go back and get them because I don't really want to be uh, recognized. <laughs> As actor too. and handy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we are seamless, so so we're pretty we're pr we're pretty uh, low profile, but uh, it 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 shows the rock uh, very annoyed repaying the fucking parking thing, <laughs> and, and you guys get out and in your in your coat pocket, you both got fucking ski mask, and the, the fucking bugs are strapped in the back seat, and the oh sword, yeah, they're buckled up, huh? They're buckled up. <laughs> They're buckled up, and both of you have swords, like in the super obvious, like under the coat because you couldn't <laughs> fucking hide them and shit. And, mm -hmm. and you both got pistols that you're probably inexpertly wearing and hoping that you know. You're no, not I know how to wear a pistol. Oh, okay. You you yeah. you do pistols as hobbyist or better? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I put max and I put max starting value into pistols. Oh, okay. So I'm Same. I'm supposed to be a, a navy pilot, so. He's so I'm, I'm familiar with weapons. He's a Navy pilot that gets out of his plane and shoots people and then gets back in the plane. You didn't take, like, <laughs> mounted machine gun or anything like that for your plane shooting, did you? Uh, yes, I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so you guys get out and go with your uh, various hidden weapons and stuff. Uh, from the the couple of uh, the block or more probably two block walk to the bamboo dragon just give me holdout slash conceal rolls i just am curious to see how obvious the hardware under your coats is okay wow, that's pretty good. nice nice no problem there he's going pretty smooth and stuff i'm gonna roll oh that's pretty much useless but i might as well throw it down there anyways skill plus five percent great Bear to use it and I pass by half with my skill plus 5%. <laughs> wow, you guys are a couple of bad man pajamas. You head over, you're now close to the alley, ready to turn down there. There are people there. 
Uh, quick count, eight. Eight people? The restaurant seems to be closed, though. Van's still there? Uh, yes. Oh, both of you give me the listen rolls. If you make your listen roll, you may attempt your Mandarin roll. I succeeded on my listen. I will attempt yeah. my Mandarin. I failed my Mandarin. That would have been funny as fuck if you made your Mandarin. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Yeah, they're talking. <laughs> okay. Um, is is there any opportunity? I mean, it's it's a dark alley. I take it. Uh, it's it's, it, it's got. You can you can turn into the alley and then put on your balaclava without drawing too much attention, unless you turn around and are leaving the alley. Because um, yeah. you you live you live in basically the LA area. Uh, yeah. Getting a Bella Clop, you probably had to do it on Amazon or something because they just don't carry them in the store. It doesn't get that cold here. <laughs> right, right. You're in fucking California. Right. All right. So we got right. our. No, we got to try to Anyone watching the van? Uh, well, they're, they're sitting near it. If somebody was okay. to drive off in the van, they would definitely notice, but they're not like staring at the van. It's just like probably three meters from where they're all kind of sitting around on the loading dock talking about whatever the fuck street gangs talk about when people aren't watching. Okay. One of them is like, I made a new poem and the air was like, ooh. <laughs> but it's all in Mandarin, so it sounds much more menacing to you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to roll my stealth. Success. Excellent. Success. You guys ninja your ass down the alley. You're pretty close to them. You're hiding behind some crates and pallets and stuff like that. Uh, you are with it. You, you could you could jump out from behind the pallets and charge over and possibly have your swords out and go into combat if you wanted to with the eight guys that are sitting around um, in various gang paraphernalia and some chains and sp one of them has messed up hair and stuff like that. Tattoos abound, of course. Oh, give me a listen roll for uh, something else. Fail. Success. It 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 sounds like Mandarin, 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 Mister Lopan, Mandarin, Mandarin, Mandarin. Not sure what that means. Mister Lopan. That wasn't where it is. Scroll, 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 scroll. So, uh, you guys are super close. In fact, if either of you was fluent in Mandarin, you'd probably be picking up uh, very fine information and such right now. But right, I'll make my Mandarin roll. Nope. But, you know, not understanding language is, a, you're as close as is useful right now. Pretty much. Um, you'd have to go out into the open to get any closer, but you can see all of them. Uh, they're just sitting around talking about stuff, smoking cigarettes. I'm going to whip out my phone and record their conversation for a couple minutes. Okay. And then Got your board. <laughs> I turn it off. Okay. And I hand signal at rock. Do we want to attack him? I give him a big thumbs up. All right. Best signaling I... ever. <laughs> I jump out and I try to hit one of them with my sword. All right. You I jump go... out and I yell, prepare for Chinese fury. <laughs> <laughs> you get a card right away, Rock. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> the timing on that. Uh, right. This this is your dramatic combat. Hopefully you're only one. But um, the villains are first. They don't get to go as they are shocked by Chinese fury. So it's you guys getting to go first. You both got sword or gun out or sword, sword. one and gun the other thing. Just sword for right now. Just sword. Great. Great. No problem. You guys basically jump out and start hacking into these people. We're like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, go um, ahead and give me your hacking into people roll. Success. I'm going to play my I have plus D10 damage card. 
Okay, keep in mind, you guys each have one card uh, pooled, and also the swords are doing D8 against them, not up to, it's not going up one to D10, right, no because D10. they're not actors. If only uh, they'd start. That's before damage is rolled, actually. I can hold on to that. That's not before attack is rolled. I rolled two points of damage, Logan. You minorly wound one of them. He looks I, annoyed. I hit the one, or I hit one, and I mm -hmm. now I'm going to do my extra D10 of damage. So, slash R 1D8 for one damage, and slash R 1D10 for... Four damage total. You know that there, if you click the dice picture, you can just click the picture of whatever dice you want to roll, too. Yeah. I'll save you a lot of typing. Usually I'm not rolling funky ones. I have a bunch of uh, macros at the bottom for D6s and stuff like that. Okay. Both of you guys keep uh, uh, track of your damage. Uh, Russ's guy's got two. Yours guy's got four. Both of them look minorly wounded, highly annoyed. <laughs> The uh, next round comes in. The ones are first. Nothing is approved. Uh, they all stand up this round. Next round. Oh, sorry. It's your turn. My your bad. Round. Your turn. Hacking you guys... some more. That's another hit. Yes. And I'm going to use my limited retrieve to pull my D10 card back. Oh. And then use my D10 card again. Ooh. Here's my D8 damage, 7, and my D10 damage, 9. So I've done 4 plus 16, so 20 damage to one guy. Right. You've chopped yours in half. The two pieces of them slide apart. They're, your guy is dead. Russ, you did another 2 damage to your guy? Yep. He looks, he looks pretty wounded and really, really pissed. Next round. The ones are first and get reinforcements. Oh, Another three guys come running around the, uh, or come out uh, running through the hall and the door near them at the loading dock bursts open. And they go, hum, hum. acting drunk or drugged is approved. Um, <laughs> the villains, with the exception of the three guys, the remaining seven guys all pull out weapons of various sorts. Uh, including oh, none you, where's, the, where's the D10 damage? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm picking that up with a limited retrieve. Great. Must kill somebody eventually. Uh, <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, so they pull out weapons. Um, your guys' turn. Go for I'm a swing on another game. As you can see, uh, going going for a surprise attack really matters in this. So that's a success. Eight damage. Woo! He looks highly wounded. Russ did an R3. How many is your guy up to total, Russ? Seven. He looks you know, severely wounded. You didn't play your D10 damage this turn? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and we now go to next round, the round that the remaining bad guys begin to kill the shit out of you. No one's <laughs> at first. Nothing good's approved. Uh Three of them attack each of you. Both of you guys give me luck roll. See the uh, or no, don't even worry about that. The extra guy will do something else. But there's three on each of you. First, we go for Russ's three. Bing, bing, bing. Hit, miss, miss. The guy who hit does three points of damage. Meanwhile, on Jeremy, pew, pew, pew. Two guys hit. For a total of six damages, they slice, dice, and ginsu you. I can attempt to dodge at minus 30, right? Uh, you can attempt to uh, parry the negative 30, one or of parry. two attacks, yes. I'm going to attempt to parry the four at minus 30. Yeah, it, it's always the first one. Oh, you do so. Excellent. You get a check and parry, which is fucking important for your actors. So. And I will attempt to parry the one guy who hit me and fail. All right, cool. So uh, you guys can go ahead and do your attacks if you want. They're all screaming at you. They don't know what's going on. They're just grateful that nobody's wearing a Zulu mask. <laughs> That's a hit. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and finish off my wounded guy. Nope, swipe. Bummer. He looks ready to go down. Yep. Uh, so I've hit a guy for twelve now. He goes down. Uh, the extra guy fills in the spot. There are still three guys waiting to fill in. Um, one of one of the three guys who came out or came out takes out his phone this round. He is not currently engaged in the fight. You guys are fighting just off of the loading dock so that the guy with the phone can jump onto you dramatically if he chose to, but instead he pulls out his phone this round. Okay. The other two guys are looking like, who do I help attack? Because you guys are both have your own cluster of ne'er-do-wells surrounding you. Next round, can I go get the guy with the phone, or is he is he blocked off by the other guys? If you had some, if you were to do something like throw your sword or something like that, or possibly yeah, or throw something, then you could get him. But otherwise, no. There's people between you and him. You could try a maneuver roll, but it's tricky. How about and acrobatics? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd let you try acrobatics. You, but that'd be your action. The next round, you'd have to try to deal with him. Right. Okay. But villains are first. Drawing a new weapon is approved. Uh, keep in mind that that would be your entire action as opposed to attacking. Meanwhile, they just beat you guys like drums. First up on Jeremy, the one dude manages to land a blow on you. Do you parry is my only question. I will attempt to parry at minus 30. Fail. You take an additional six points. Keep in mind uh, your regenerations, by the way, guys, at one per oh, round. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I thought I'd remind you. Meanwhile, on Russ, uh, they're just you. You see weapons going up and down uh, on his head as he gets ready to jump, jump. Oh my love! One guy mad just to fucking tag you. Ain't that a bitch? Normally, uh, by the way. If you're attacked by multiple people, then the first incoming attack would be negative 30, negative 60, negative 90. But these guys are, are not skilled, so I don't care what order the attacks come in. So I'm not worried about that part. But if you'd like to try to parry Russ at negative 30, go ahead. Give it a shot. Nope. Is that a fumble? Um, my skill is 60. So minus 30 would be a 30. That'd mean a 93 or higher fumbles. Oh, okay. So fumbles, fumbles are at the negative skill. That's a fumble, then. Absolutely. Even, even, yeah. Um, so, right. No problem. Your sword uh, flies out of your hand and sticks into one of the pallets close by. So you could try to jump up and get the guy with the phone with your bare hand, or you could spend the time retrieving your sword. Uh, I'm gonna spend the time retrieving my sword. Excellent. Give me a maneuver roll to get through the guys to get to your sword. That's a success on the maneuver. Oh, damn, you're over at your sword. Next round, you can grab it. Right. They'll be killing you in the meantime, and you won't be able to parry next round because you're busy with your sword. Right. But, uh, Jeremy, uh, your guys are... Wait, no. Have I done attacks on you guys already? Yeah, you just yeah. attacked us. Go uh, ahead, Logan, Jeremy. I'm also going to try and intimidate the guy with the phone, just... Screen uh, out. That intimidate would be its own action, though. Okay, cool. You've got your you you've got your side to him, and you're reaching for your sword, getting ready to rearm yourself. Very but, good. I was I was wondering if I could do that at the same time, but no good. Uh, right. Jeremy, go ahead and do your attack. I'm going to action point that or hero point that. Oh, really? Mm, no, never mind. I was gonna say hero points. Keep in mind that's basically your blood. When you right. run out of hero points, you've run out of blood. And apparently, they are unskilled enough attackers that over time they will definitely take you out. But I wouldn't worry about doing your damage to them in the meantime as much. <clears throat> right. Okay. I okay. Kind of missed. No problem. Next the next round comes. Villains are first and get a free reroll. Instead of doing uh, anything useful, wildly gesticulating while you're cut down like lemmings is approved. So uh, first the oh, first the guys on Russ beat him while he has no sword. Hit, taking his reroll, yeah, and taking his reroll, hit. So <laughs> uh, you have no parry. 
Nope. I can dodge, right? You can dodge a, a negative 30 if you want to retrieve your sword as well. I will dodge at negative 30. Go for it. You're going after the one point because it's the first one in. First oh, wait, point. is it? What's the damage? One and three? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Right. Take damage. Okay. You, you, you're going to spend your time picking up your sword. Meanwhile, on Jeremy, the first guy attempts to stick him, takes his free reroll, still misses. Second guy attempts to stick him, is happy with that, tries his damage. Mm, yeah, he's happy with four. He's not going to take his reroll. And the last guy takes his reroll, and hey! So if you'd like to avoid uh, the first four points of damage, uh, Jeremy, then you can, oh, yeah, hey. burn your ass off. Great. And so you take the second four points of damage. Don't forget your regions. So now it's the hero's turn. Russ dramatically grabs his sword. No strength roll required. It was just stuck in for um, a cool appearance. You grab it out of the box and uh, prepare to wave it about. Meanwhile, uh, Jeremy, go ahead and do your thing. And I miss again. Uh, is that fumbled? Do you have 60 or better in your I sword? 60. Damn, I was thinking I was gonna have it stick next to Russ's head in the same goddamn <laughs> box and the chosen side it's holding magnets and shit. And you guys are like, aha! So um, we go to next round. Villains are first. Of course. In dramatic combat, they usually are. Instead yep. of doing anything useful like parrying or attacking, wit is approved this round. So the bad guys attempt to chop up uh Russ like he is chopped. Suey. Oh, I've been waiting to use that one. The first one hit, the last one crits. If you'd like to try to parry the crit, you need to roll a critical parry of negative 30. If you roll a normal parry, he does normal damage instead of double damage. Okay, I'm going to roll a normal parry and not attack this round. Great. Give me a uh, critical parry against Mr. I do a critical to you by stabbing you in the throat with my. Not a critical, but a success. Ah, okay. He only does normal damage, so you take two normal damages from the first guy and then the last guy. That comes out to a grand total of four plus five is nine. Are you still on your feet? Are you still conscious? Are you still alive? Uh, I am bleeding profusely. Nice. Didn't he parry? Why is it still four and five for the... Well, because two he different critted. people hit him. He would have gotten three D6 total because the last oh, okay, guy yeah. hit. And if, if he'd made a critical um, uh, parry then he would have gotten rid of all the critical mm -hmm. damage. All right, I'm going to try. Oh, oh, that's right. They got to attack Jeremy first. Correct. And on Jeremy, meanwhile, the guy with the nunchucks flails him around, nearly taking out his own eye. The guy with the <laughs> tanfa not doing well, and the Psy guy, he sighs deeply. So now it's your guys' turn. Okay, I'm going to take my attack at minus 30 on the guy that I've almost killed. Great. Miss. Bummer. And Jeremy. I'm going to swing. I finally hit him. Just barely. The guy with the phone, uh, by the way, for his action, had hit speed dial and is hold, holding the phone up next to his head. Oh, who knows what horrible thing he's doing. Or one damage. Crazy. Woo. Yay. You scratch one of the guys. He looks at his clothes and goes, oh. <gasps> Next round, villains are first, heroes are second. Instead of doing anything useful, making obscene gestures is approved. Uh, they continue beating you guys like drums. Jeremy's guys all miss him just barely as he does some weird backwards lean thing and all the weapons are in his face and he's like, ha ha. Meanwhile, on poor Russ, pew, pew, pew. Oh, goddamn close, but yes. Uh, you guys take a lot of misses this round. You can feel the air and stuff, and it's just waving your hair, and you're like, ah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run screaming at the top of my lungs straight at the guy with the phone and try and scare the shit out of him. All right, uh, give me a maneuver roll or acrobatics roll to get up on the loading dock with him. Otherwise, you just flounder around, flounder around uselessly. I'm going to try hero pointing that. Oh, nope. You flounder around more uselessly. uselessly. I'm gonna okay. do the. I'm doing the same thing Rock did. Flounder uselessly. Charge at him. Right. And I succeed. 
ah, okay. He looks a bit surprised. Uh, he clutches the phone next to his head, but he has the ah, look. Could I attempt to hit him at a minus 32 or no? And no, unfortunately, maneuver was your action. Next round, if okay. you can can I, can I climb up on the dock and get close to him at least? Or is next it just round, Next round, you can. Okay. This round, you had a bad time. Your foot probably got stuck on a piece of wood or something. Villains at first can get a free reload. Instead of doing anything useful, muttering think happy thoughts is approved. <laughs> All of these approved actions, Jeremy, have been done at one time or more by somebody. The villains go. The guy with the phone spends his round screaming, ah, because he knows something bad's going to happen. And um, let's see. Uh, Russ's guys all attack him because he didn't make it up on the loading dock. Hit, hit, hit. Holy crap. They just pummel the shit out of the rock. It looks like you can smell what is being cooked there. Two, five, and one. So... Ten. All right, I'm gonna hero point the fives. All right, Rock is getting like the uh, uh, fucking beating that the strong guys always get in movies, where they're just mercilessly pummeled. He's got blood coming out of his mouth and one of his ears, and many places throughout his body. He's kind of wishing he. Oh, you guys. Ah, uh, right. Both of you guys take a card. Actually, both of you guys take a refill. Um, you guys take one less die of damage from bad guys than normal. <laughs> you should be taking D4s. Got to remind old. Logan because he's old. <laughs> All right. But so take a refill right now. That will make up for it. Uh, after you refill your hand, discard everything and then refill it again because I got to play immediately that's supposed to do that. Well, there goes my D10 damage. Hooray. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to roll on Jeremy's guys. All of them run up to get on top of the loading dock. You're now fighting on two different levels. Ooh. Mm -hmm. One has made it up. Now, the bad news is that Jeremy once again has three guys, because if you'll recall, three guys came out. One is on the phone. Two guys are unemployed, and one of his made it up. So now there's phone guy and three guys that are wanting desperately to beat up Jeremy. However, <laughs> the phone guy is thinking that his number may be up. Uh, Russ, by the way, if you wanted to, uh, uh, at a negative 10, stab him in the leg or somewhere like not in main torso, you could probably get to that from here. I got something better. All right. So I'm going to uh, power fingers his phone. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it pulled is my question because if you just got it it's not pulled it's not pulled no all right by the way keep in mind that if you've been keeping track of which cards are pulled you didn't need to dis oh wait you did need to discard them because he got the discard and yeah. card. yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing is pulled right now next round you can do it okay keep in mind though for each round he, can, he only gets three words everybody gets three words per round mm -hmm. so uh, right, and I, Jeremy, did you go yet? No, I'll, I'll swing at him. The guy with the phone? Yep. He I continues the screen. And he takes one point of damage. He looks oddly relieved. And uh, I will attack and miss. Huh, he says. Next round. Villains are first and get a free reroll. Wit is approved if you don't do anything useful. So uh, the villains are first going, and the rocks guys try to beat him to death. Oh, Jesus. Two of them managed to hit, but with smaller dice this time. Three. All right, I'm going to parry. Success. Aha, says the rock. The two goes away because so that's the first goes away, and I just take one. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, on Jeremy, his three guys are just beating the piss out of the air, except for that one guy who got a crit. Now, Jeremy, give me a critical parry at negative 30. I only see two dice rolls. Uh, the other one's in there. It's an ot one. The last one. Ah, yep, no, it's not. Okay. 85, ot one. Uh, I'll do a regular parry at minus 30. Yes. Fail. All right. And his critical damages. Five. Ha ha, he says, hitting you over the head with his tanfa. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, Your guys' turns. The guy with the whoop. phone goes, Chi John Hin. He goes, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Drops the fucking phone. He makes a luck roll for the uh, phone. It definitely, the, at least the screen is broken. There may be other shit wrong with it, but the screen is definitely broken. No, he says. No, says another guy. And I will attempt to attack my weakened guy and maybe finish him off this round. And that's a fail again. 